best theater experience, hands down. I was a I was a big fan of the Jackass uh, mm-hmm. movies and show. The movies in particular, I found the first and second one to be, the second one especially to be like absolutely hilarious, especially when mm-hmm. I was younger. But the issue was for the second film, it was rated R in Canada, and so the our our version of R is basically the American version of NC seventeen. So our other oh, really? ra- the, the rating systems that we have is it goes um, PG. I think there's G also, like G, PG, uh, 14A, and 18A. So we don't have PG-13, and we don't have uh, R. Well, we do have R, but it's not the other R. So our yeah, your NC-17 is RR. So in the same sense that an NC-17 rating in America means that you have to have your own ID uh, and be over 18 to get into the theater, like you couldn't do it with an adult for NC-17 mm-hmm. in, in America. In that same sense, rated R in Canada is is that way as well. So, eighteen A, it's you could be a kid as long as you're with a parent. Um, but rated R in in Canada, which very few films are rated R in Canada, um, you need to be your own adult and have your ID showing up to the theater. So I wanted to get into Jackass Number Two when it was out, but I wasn't eighteen yet, and so I was like, ah, shit, I had to catch it when it was out on video, and I would have loved to have seen that in the theater because it's just such a funny hilarious experience and i you know i'm sure i was positive that the crowd experience would have um made me enjoy it a lot more too and so it's coming up to the jackass 3d release date i'm i'm 18 by this point i i had turned 18 earlier that year i think and i was like well shit this is our chance we got to do it and so i got uh myself and two friends together and i was like okay thursday night opening showing we're doing it. They came over to my house. We bought a bunch of liquor. We just bought like a bunch of Jack Daniels because, I mean, you can you can drink at eighteen in Alberta if anybody's curious. Um, you can oh, buy really? That's yeah, awesome. you can buy liquor at eighteen in Alberta, Canada, um, Ooh. and it's nineteen for a lot of the other provinces. Um, but anyway, we bought a bunch of liquor, uh, and then I look on the computer and it's like, what? There's no showings for Jackass. 3d tonight i look in the newspaper no showings like what i th- i could have sworn there would be an opening thursday night showing because it's just such a huge movie but there wasn't yeah. and so we thought we're gonna continue with this i got my friends to spend the night at my house first thing tomorrow morning we're catching the noon or 1 p.m show whichever one the earliest thing we possibly can we're going to jackass 3d and we're getting shit-faced and um, <laughs> and so um, that night before we went to the theater, we had constructed these uh, masks made out of old posters because I worked at like a lot of play, you know, movie places. So I had a bunch of posters lying around and I also had a bunch of old 3D, 3D glasses from other films that I had seen. And so we we did a little bit of construction and we, we essentially formed the posters over the glasses in a way where they we made a mask and the whole idea behind that it was really stupid but kind of funny the whole idea behind that Mm -hmm. is that shay shay my friend shay who i mentioned in a lot of my earlier videos he was like man i don't really like being able to see out of the peripherals when you're watching a a movie you know like i don't like seeing what's on my side so that's why we decided to make these these masks is to basically block out our our peripherals so that we're only seeing through the the lenses of the 3d 3d glasses so um (laughs) They had some weird kind of like alien looking masks. They theirs looked cooler and put a lot more effort into it than mine. Mine was just I replaced the eyes of Viggo Mortensen on a Lord of the Rings poster with the glasses, but his face was so <laughs> stupidly small that it looked hilarious. Anyway, so we wake up, we grab all of our fucking booze. We uh we have all these we have these gigantic coats cuz it's Edmonton. Um and we just sneak all of our shit. We go onto pub- public transit. With all this booze, and we're literally just taking shots at at the bus stop because we're young and stupid <laughs> at like mm-hmm. noon, <laughs> and we get onto the bus and we have our masks on. We made a couple friends from, <laughs> from people just being like, "Why do you have these masks on? Oh, that's interesting." We're just having a good time. Get to the theater. They yeah. obviously ask us to take our masks off to check ID, um, <laughs> and uh, get inside. Successfully sneak everything in. Snuck some food in. We got the bottle of Jack Daniels. We put a fucking movie theater straw in it. We're locked in. Good to fucking go. Watch the movie. It was hilarious. 
I was drunk. I was having so much fun. It was everything that I wanted it to be out of out of the experience that I was longing for, this this jackass 3D experience. However, there was only a couple other people in the theater cuz it was like <laughs> yeah, it was like the nude show, but I was so drunk that <laughs> yeah. I didn't care. And uh -huh. um my my one friend, Michael, who is much smaller than me and who I have never known him to uh, be able to keep up with me in terms of liquor because we have very different metabolisms and body sizes. About halfway through the movie, I've decided, okay, I'm I'm good. I'm too drunk. This is fine. I'm comfortable where I'm at because this is get you know this is getting ridiculous, and I want to enjoy the movie. He continues, and mm -hmm. and he is literally just tapping me on the shoulder every every like five minutes, like just pass it, just pass it, just pass this this bottle. I'm like, okay, like I don't know. I've stopped drinking a while ago. This is interesting. End credits roll. The lights come up, and they're playing the blooper reel of everything in the movie. Michael leans forward <laughs> and starts profusely vomiting <laughs> in, oh, inside his mask that he was wearing. <laughs> and he's, and I, I just lose it, and I'm laughing, and I'm clapping. I'm like, this is the oh best day of my life. And <laughs> Shay's laughing at him, too. It's like, he... He didn't even take off his mask. He's literally just puking He's inside his fucking it. mask and like all over his That's... face. Blah, blah, blah. And we're like, oh God, this is like the end credits of the movie. It was the perfect ending. <laughs> and, and, and me and Shay were like, I guess we got to get him out of here. <laughs> like, they're going to come to clean oh, up the theater God. pretty soon. And hopefully they just think it was because something really gruesome happened in the movie, yeah. like squeamish. And that we didn't, we weren't just kids getting shit faced at noon. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that was my best theater experience because that was just the perfect wow. ending uh, to the day. Is my friend throwing up inside of his fucking <laughs> mask that we were wearing for basically no reason <laughs> because That's we hilarious. decided to get drunk at noon and watch Jackass 3D because there was no Thursday oh night showing.